Thank you for joining us for the next in our series of video tutorials. Today we are going to be looking at getting the best out of our Gravestone Inscription database. Once you're on our homepage, click Search for Irish Ancestors and then click on Northern Ireland Gravestone Inscriptions. We hold over 50,000 gravestone inscriptions from over 800 graveyards in the six counties of Northern Ireland. Antrim, Armagh, Derry, Londonderry, Down, Fermanagh and Tyrone. Please note that we do not yet have every gravestone inscription and that the majority of our inscriptions predate 1900, except when a headstone includes family members from both the 19th and 20th century. To start searching, simply enter the surname you're interested in, for example, Fulton. From this, we see that we can get 56 results. If you know the county, you can narrow down the results further. For example, if we choose County Down, we then get 25 results. In some cases, we may know the area or exact graveyard the family were buried in, and this too can be entered. In this um, instance, Whitechurch in Ballywalter Parish, which brings the results down to just 8. The information provided on gravestone inscriptions can vary greatly. For example, the first result provides just the name of the father. Sometimes an inscription will simply say Fulton Burial Place and no further information. However, if we then look at the second result, we can see how inscriptions can be of great use in genealogy. This inscription details William Fulton's entire family, from his daughter, Mary Eliza, who died aged three years in 1865, to his son James, who died in 1957, a span of almost 100 years. It also includes details of those children who had died in the United States of America and who were also commemorated on the family headstone. Finally, it also included the place name where the family lived, um, which can be useful in identifying other relevant records. For those who had died after civil registration of deaths began in Ireland in 1864, it will then be possible to obtain those death records without having to search, as their dates of death have been recorded on the gravestone. Death notices in newspapers, another important source for genealogy, can also now be examined. Returning to the list of Fulton inscriptions, we find that the fourth result is a gravestone inscription detailing the death of William Fulton who died in 1762 aged 10 months and Margaret Fulton who also died in 1762 aged 10 years and a Mary Fulton who died in 1780 aged 55 years. Church registers for the parish of Ballywalter only survive from the 1800s, so there will be no paper record of these deaths or burials, showing the importance of transcribing and preserving gravestone inscriptions. The fifth Fulton inscription shows us another advantage of using gravestone inscriptions. The maiden names of wives, mothers and daughters are often recorded. For example, in this transcription we find that James Fulton married Mary Ann Beck, and that Mary Fulton married a Mr Stewart. This will then make it much more straightforward to find the relevant records in the marriage registers. Married sisters and families can sometimes disappear from the family tree as their married surname was not known so they cannot therefore be searched in the records. This makes this inscription all the more important. Finally, as we have seen in a number of these inscriptions, the headstones can often include the name of the townland. Knowing the townland of your ancestors is very useful in Irish family history, particularly in areas where your surname may be prevalent. Townlands are the smallest land divisions in Ireland. They can range in size but are generally only 300 to 400 acres. A group of townlands make up a parish. In this inscription, we can see that the townland that the family lived in was called Ballyferris. If you do not know where a townland is, an excellent resource is the website placenamesni.org where you can search their database which covers the six counties of Northern Ireland. Once you have identified the correct townland, you can click on the green box which will bring up a map showing the local area. From this we can see that the townland of Ballyferris is located just north of the townland of Whitechurch where the graveyard is located. 
As well as our gravestone inscription database, don't forget that we also hold many death and burial records, including all pre-1900 Roman Catholic funeral records where they survived for counties Antrim and Down, and many Church of Ireland and Presbyterian burial records. We will be adding more of these records to our database soon. Thanks for watching our video tutorial. Check our website for other tutorials on baptism and marriage records.